Greetings, salutations. Welcome back to another Power Query tutorial by me, James, your BA Sensei. Today, percentage of total. So we're gonna calculate that. I don't recommend doing it in Power Query. I would rather do it in DAX or something downstream in a reporting tool. But in some cases, you might wanna do it in Power Query. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in Power Query. The data set. The data set, we got stock portfolio. So we got a couple of, we got Warren Buffett in there. We got Charlie Munger, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. There are stocks that they hold and we got the value of those holdings. So what we want to do is we want to basically see what the percentage is of each of these stocks within each portfolio. So let me show you how to do it. All right, let's get this into Power Query. Once you're in, I'm going to show you the basic logic per portfolio on an individual portfolio before we do anything more advanced. I'm just going to say click this and say reference. And in here, I'm just going to isolate a portfolio. Let's say we chose the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Cool. I'm just going to rename this step to Walter. Okay. All right. So I renamed that step. Let's go to add column. And in here, we're going to use list sum. Yeah. And we need to feed list sum a list. But how will we do that? We were feed it the previous step called filtered. Yeah. And then in brackets, I'm going to return the column that I want. I want to return a one column data set. I'm going to say bring back the value. Yes. And this will return. If you look at this, the total sum of all the of all the holdings for this portfolio. All right. So now that should be very simple. So now if we go back here, all we say is take your value and divide it by that. And this would be the percentage of total. All right, so there you have it. So that's very simply applied on one portfolio. All right, but we want to do a little bit more. I'm just formatting that as a percentage. So now let's go back a step. I'm just going to refer to this one. Let's do another reference. Yeah. The second method I'm going to do is per portfolio. I'm going to use I'm going to use grouping. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to group by, and in here I'm going to group it by the portfolio because I want to group it by portfolio. I want to say here, give me the total amount, given the total amount, which would be the sum of the total value column. Yes, and I'm going to add another aggregation, we call this the details. Yes, and in the details, I can just say, give me all the rows. Okay, so what it does now, it basically summarized every portfolio with its total holding amount. And it gives me the portfolio details for each of these grouped rows. Okay, so now what I can do is just expand. I don't have to show portfolio name. Um, and that's basically that. But now the benefit is you got your value, which you can divide by your total amount. So all we need to do is we say custom, let's call this percentage of total. And all we do here is we say value, which is the value of each row divided by the total amount. And that would give you format as percentage would give you the percentage for each portfolio. Pretty cool. I'm going to show you another way which is more advanced to actually do the same thing in one step, but not using the group by functionality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say old table, I'm just going to reference it. Okay, so this would be the, the, the way I suggest you do it. Okay, so we're sitting here. So we say, um, we're going to we're going to work in the advanced editor here. So let's start a new little row there. And let's we'd say, table portfolio, that's the variable name I'm giving it. Yeah. I'm going to say table add column, because I want to add a column. I want to add that to the source, which is the previous step. I'm going to give it a name, I'm going to call it a uh, total portfolio value. Okay. Yeah. Add a comma there. Now I'm going to declare a uh, inner variable a for future reference, i would made a video on each how the each operator works in inner and outer queries. This is using that kind of logic. So I'm going to put a link to that if you want a little bit more detail on what we're doing. It is a more advanced section. So we take an inner table, we say, list sum. Yeah, you start that bracket, I'm going to say, table, select rows because I want to select rows from the data. I want to kind of do an inner join on all portfolios, portfolio names. So I'm doing the grouping here with inner and outer variables. I'm going to say source. Yeah. 
and now declare a variable b. So I'm going to join the two data sets. And in here, I'm going to say where b, b, portfolio name is equal to a portfolio name. So I've actually created two data sets, portfolio a and portfolio b. I'm going to join them now because I'm saying do a list sum of everything where they are joined. Okay. And then what I'm going to say at the end here is give me the value. All right, so let's close all of these. See if all the brackets are closed. Bracket closed, bracket closed. And we just need to remember at the end, at the end, we need to end with the last step over there and say done. Now this should give us, you can see there's the total portfolio value. Okay, in one step. And if we now want to do a percentage of total, we can just simply go in here. And here where the A is there, we can just say, a, which is the first data set, value, which is the total portfolio value, divide by that, let's call that percentage, and say, okay. And here you have it. All in one step. It's a little bit more advanced than the other one, but that is a pretty effective way of doing it all in one step. So I recommend any, any person starting out with this to do this, this third method here where we did the grouping. And for more advanced users, use the fourth method. How excellent is that? Anyway, be a sensei. Ow.